Have you ever sabotaged yourself? Sabotaged anything you would like to do in some way? And you may say, well, how would I sabotage myself? Well, many people sabotage themselves with procrastination, putting things off, avoidance in some way. So have you ever sabotaged something you would like to do by giving yourself excuses or making up reasons why you shouldn't do it? Even though you feel totally motivated to do that at one point, and when it gets closer to that time, you just seem to sabotage yourself. It's their fault. Or because of them, I can't do it. Or because I feel this way, I can't do this. Or because I haven't got enough confidence. All those many excuses that go round and round in your head. Well, this video is recorded to help you get over those feelings of sabotage. Well, you focus on something you would like to achieve. And as you think about what you would like to achieve, just noticing how you would normally sabotage that. What you would say to yourself, your self-talk. Those negative beliefs that stop you in some way. Now, when you think of any of those negative beliefs that might be popping to mind, or that you've used in the past, or possibly going to use in the future, I would like you to measure on a scale of zero to 10. And this measure is called a sub, sub scale, subjective units of distress, or subjective units of discomfort. And so what number on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the worst you would feel about having to go and do something, what number would pop to mind? Okay, whatever numbers pop to mind of avoidance, procrastination, excuses, whatever's popped to mind of stopping you doing what you really would like to do, what you would really want to do. Because most of the time, it's a feeling that stops us. And the feeling then drives the thinking. And so by working on that feeling, that number zero to 10, that feeling may reduce. Those excuses may reduce as you get closer to what you really want to do. So with that number in mind, we're going to do some EFT on that. Just by thinking ahead of what you'd like to do, what excuses you have normally for stopping you doing that. And then, zero to ten, what number pops to mind? Okay, so start tapping on the karate chat point while saying after me. Even though I have that number of that excuse, that reason, that self-sabotage, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that number of that reason, of that excuse, of that self-sabotage, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that number, of that excuse, of that self-sabotage, of that reason, I deeply and completely accept myself. That number. 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 Take a deep breath in. And release that now. Very good. So now thinking of those excuses you've used in the past or are using at this moment in time, or that event, that upcoming event, or that thing you really want to do, and what just stops you getting there? What's that roadblock you keep putting there? Or is there a feeling? Is there a feeling when you think about doing that thing? Is there a feeling in your tummy, in your chest, in your head, in your legs? Is there a nervousness feeling? I don't know. You know exactly what that feeling is if you're having that feeling or if you've had that feeling. So measuring again on a scale of zero to 10 of that roadblock, 10 being the worst could be, of that roadblock stopping you, that you place there, that you've been building there. 
what number pops to mind? All right. Even now I have that number of that roadblock I have built, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that number of that roadblock I have built, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that number of that roadblock that I have built, I deeply and completely accept myself. That number, that roadblock, that number, that roadblock, that number, that roadblock, that number, that roadblock. Take a deep breath in and release that now. You may have heard people say things like uh, limiting beliefs. And limiting beliefs are beliefs we hold that limit us from achieving what we really want to do. And that's why some people can do things easily, just like you can do things easily. And other people say, well, I can't do that. And then we have, you have your own limiting beliefs, which you say, well, I can't do that. And the thing about can't, if you break that down, is can but not. Is can do but not do. If you hyphenate that word can not, there is a difference. So you can do it, but there is something stopping you doing that. So the thing is, a limiting belief is a belief that you buy into. Beliefs are created from your life's experiences. And that's why we are all individuals and we all think of things in a different way and we experience things in different, different ways. So, what limiting belief have you about yourself that stops you from achieving what you really want to achieve? Just think, whatever pops to mind, what limiting belief has been sabotaging you getting where you want to really get to? Okay. So whatever that is, whatever answer pops to mind when I say, what limiting belief have you got about yourself that stops you achieving what you can really achieve? knowing that you have the full resources within you to achieve that. You have the full capabilities of achieving something, except there's some feeling inside you, belief inside you that stops you getting there. So what pops to mind? What's the answer? What's that belief? Hold that belief firmly in your mind now and measure on a scale of zero to 10 of intensity how much that belief holds you back. Okay. So even though I have this number of belief, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this number of belief, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this number of belief, I deeply and completely accept myself. This number of sabotaging belief, this number of limiting belief, this number of sabotaging belief, this number of limiting belief, this number of sabotaging belief, this number of limiting belief, this number of sabotaging belief, this number of limiting belief, this number of sabotaging belief. Take a deep breath in and release all that now. So just bringing that limiting belief to mind again, whatever the answer is, zero to 10, what number pops to mind? Okay, so let's go with that again. So even though I have that remaining number of limiting belief, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that remaining number of limiting belief, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that remaining number of limiting belief, I deeply and completely accept myself. That remaining number, 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 that remaining number. Take a deep breath in and release that now too. So just thinking one more time about that self-sabotaging, limiting belief that you've been holding about yourself. And just measure that one more time, zero to 10, what number pops to mind? Oh, tap me again. Even though I still have some self-sabotaging, limiting belief remaining, I'm okay now. Even though I still have some self-sabotaging, limiting belief. I'm okay now. Even though I still have some self-sabotaging, limiting belief. 
I know okay now. That limiting belief, that self-sabotage, 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 that limiting belief. Take a deep breath in. And release all that now. Very good. Well, I hope this video has been a little bit of use to you to help you get a little closer to what you really want to do. And if you like, you can run through this video one more time and work a little bit more on those limiting beliefs that hold you back from the life you truly deserve. And if you'd like to find out more about what I do and some more of my videos, just look up walkingtalkingtherapy.com.